İyilik olsun. İyilik olsun. İyilik olsun. İyilik olsun. İyilik olsun. İyilik olsun. İyilik olsun. At present, goodness faces oblivion. The consciousness that doing good is purity prevails, rather than the consciousness that doing good is the right behavior. Our primary goal is to change that perception. Instead, it's to spread the idea that goodness exists within every person, although it's not reflected in the behavior of individuals. Based on it, we created Let Goodness Prevail in order to reveal the good that's waiting to be awakened in every living person to shape society with love and goodness, and to create an environment of peace that extends from generation to generation. In order to understand love, act with kindness and create goodness, the individual must first be part of society, being with others is an important aiming opportunity to get to know yourself and the other. People deprived of these possibilities to, due to the pandemic, especially children, are unable to develop awareness of goodness, learn goodness, and lose faith in existing goodness by being at home, away from society and exposed to social media where the ego stands out. Based on our research, we found that there is a problem in understanding, implementing, and transferring goodness from generation to generation. To address this problem, we have put forward various campaigns targeting adults and children separately. We listen to their philosophy of kindness by hosting the leading intellectual people of our country the conference we had uh, under the title Goodness Chats. Because of the spread of bad news on television and social media in general, we saw that people thought that there was no good in the world and so we started sharing good news by showing people the good that has been done in our country and around the world. We have pursued and acted on the good that exists in them, waiting to open it. In order to show people the philosophy of Anatolian culture based on kindness and love, uh, we shared news about kindness from Anatolia. With this news, it was part of our hidden culture of kindness. We discovered this hidden treasure in Anatolia under the name of goodness. We wanted to teach children good by taking urban culture into the center. For this reason, we organized a painting competition for children together with Ankara City Council and Ankara Metropolitan Municipality, which are local service institutions of Ankara. The main topic of the contest was the advice and kindness of Haji Bayram Veli, one of the Anatolian philosophers. This competition brought a big voice to stay. It was encouraged by sharing the mayor. Over 1,000 entries took place in the painting competition. Every child is an artist, every painting is a work of art. We exhibited our children's paintings in the section we opened on our website. We discovered that our goal of creating a society adorned with love and goodness is passed on to the children. In our most comprehensive project, to create the awareness of kindness in children was the village of Minecraft of goodness. Merhaba, hoş geldin. Merhaba, İfar Kaç, hoş geldin. Merhaba, İferhan, hoş geldin. Merhaba, hoş geldin. Göktürk, merhaba, hoş geldin. Merhaba. Merhaba, hoş geldin. Merhaba, Buse çok hareketlisin bugün. Hoş geldin, iyilik olsun köyümüze. By turning the pandemic conditions into an advantage, we have created a permanent, sustainable, developable, educational product on the digital platform. We have built this product with high school students aged 12 to 18 and made them talk about kindness and make them do good to their younger brothers. The Minecraft Kindness Village was an innovative virtual village where children between the ages of 6 to 12 could spend time and increase their awareness of kindness. In this game, which can be played in an interactive way according to the answers given by children, scenarios are organized according to the levels and needs of children. Haftaki şeyleri seninle beraber temizleyelim mi? Bugün Ahmet öğretmene yardım edelim. Ahmet öğretmen bizden bunu rica et. Allah'ım daha havuçlarımı ekemedim bugün hasta olduğum için. Bana bu konuda yardımcı olur musun? Alırım. Teşekkür ederim. Hadi gidelim o zaman. Takip edelim. Also, in order to feel a sense of belonging, each child planted a tree before leaving our village online. 
the Minecraft Goodness Village has not only remained a virtual village, but with playing cards designed, we allowed children to practice kindness they did in the village in real life. This way, education was reinforced. We did not want Minecraft Village to remain an individual educational platform. We've made Minecraft Goodness Village a guide, making it playable collectively in educational institutions and classrooms. Even if our teachers who will reveal the guide do not have any knowledge, they will be able to follow the steps, the guide, and create a village of kindness and teach the children through scenarios of kindness. Minecraft's strengths are that it is innovative, product-driven, and can bring out children's creativity. These two major projects cover our cultural values transferred from the past to the present, as well as address the future from an innovative, creative point of view. The common feature of our painting competition which is the subject of the words of our Anatolian philosopher Haji Bayram Veli and the Minecraft Goodness Village, which have uncovered as an innovative original product that it reveals our cultural values and does this by highlighting the creativity of young people. Our main communication tactics consist of persistence, multi-channel and actionability. During the campaign, we pursued a persistent content sharing strategy. We have shown our followers that kindness always exists and that we are a content producer worth following to grow the various shares we make every day. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, a website, YouTube, with all of the social media tools we can find. Not only limit to Instagram by defining a multi-channel approach. In order to mobilize our followers, we asked them to be example by sharing their experiences. So they did the kindness task that came out in the filter by making an Instagram filter. We spent time together with children in the village of Gatmas, instilling in them a consciousness of kindness, allowing them to take action in everyday life and track out the thought of kindness. Evet, benim bugün biraz yardıma ihtiyacım var Alperen. Bana yardım edebilir misin? Yardım ederim. Çok sevindim. Hadi o zaman beni takip edin, okulun bahçesine çıkalım. Tamam. İyilik olsun bana çok şey kazandırdı. Mesela ailemi, güvenimi kazandırdı. Ondan sonra çevremdeki insanlara güvenim daha arttı. İyilik olsun benim yapay çevremi güçlendirdi. İyilik olsun aslında güzel bir sayfa. Youtube'da da çok beğendiğim bir sayfa yani. Günde 3-4 de, defa en son iyilik olsun izliyorum. In creating our project, we based sustainability. Because in order for a social structure that is consistent of goodness to be formed. Goodness must have a self-sustainable structure. Thanks to our website and tutorial guide, we have made the village of kindness, which we have created, a content that every can access and use. We have also contacted teachers and offered sport to play with children in classroom for educational purpose. We have designed Minecraft playing cards so that the experience gained at the village of goodness can become permanent. We have recorded the scenarios we play with the children who are guests of village of get a favor and shared them onto the YouTube channel of get a favor and this made the content we create watchable at any time and on the ground. In the future, by collaborating with Microsoft, we can create a challenge through the goodness village to solve the problem of goodness in the world and spread our virtual village to a wider audience. At the same time, we are continuing with our negotiations to publish experiences and do educational work on the Minecraft education platform. In the following processes, we will introduce the mayor of Ankara Metropolitan Province and the president, Mansouri Yavash, to the wider audience by broadcasting live via Twitch. If the pandemic conditions allow, we can display the paintings that have been awarded prizes in the painting competition that we have organized with the Ankara City Council. We reached a total of 2,101,824 people on social media in all the campaigns that we interacted with, a total of people of 95,389 people. We have a total of 3,280 followers on our social media accounts, and we reached a total of 1,125,862,000 people on the social media alone. Of these, we have interacted with 38,908. In addition, our posts and videos have received a total of 30,000 likes. On YouTube, we had access to 65,500 people and our videos have been viewed 35,000 times 
with 4,396 hours. 11,669 people visited our website. 7,500 people used our Instagram filter. We reached 975,692 people with painting contests that we organized. And of those we interacted with, 56,481 people. Over 1,000 children participated in our painting competition and we gave tablets to 70 children who made the best paintings and all a book set uh, to all who participated in the competition. We spent more than 50 hours with 40 children aged 6 to 12 visiting our village and more than 100 hours with 12 children aged 12 to 18. Through our YouTube videos, we have accessed more than 50,000 children. We sent our guides and playing cards to 40 children who were guests of our village and to many educators throughout Turkey. As a result, how many children have been reached and how lives have been changed? We have seen a different method of education and it has been shown that Turkey is an example and many people around the world can be reached through this method. In real sense, Turkey is no longer the same. As a result, by touching lives of hundreds of children with our innovative educational method, we have shown that goodness exists, that is still valuable to humanity. That doing good is not purity. That goodness will be a very important step towards lifelong self-realization. The training method that we have used is a method that is known in education but is not adapted to games. So we revised it and turned it into an innovative training method thanks to this method children have gained first consciousness in the virtual world by the method of drama. Today, because of both the pandemic and despite the chaos and war of ambition brought about in postmodern world, we believe that we can integrate good children into their lives. This change will bring sustainability in the lives of the children. Turkey is not only a small step, more of children will be taught kindness in different ways and will bring about the continuation of this step in the world.